explore all the things we were created for. Possibilities and open door that keeps us reaching out. So today I'm getting my fucking shit together. It's about time. I have been so busy the past couple of weeks, like literally insane busy, like starting new jobs and just like not at home and just like have absolutely trashed my space. And it's time to like just get my shit together, to get organized. I have a few errands that I need to run as well. It's also like the second day of spring and I just feel like spring it has this new energy so it's time to just completely go through everything that i own get rid of stuff and donate stuff and pass stuff on that i don't need anymore so it's time for a bit of a refresh get my shit together today and i bring you along with me as usual so yeah let's get all shit together together <laughs> Yesterday I got my nails done. I got these little stars. They're actually so fucking cute. Usually when I get like acrylics, I get them like super long. But like with my job at the moment, like in hospo, like you just, you can't fucking have long nails. But like these are like the perfect length, I feel. Anyway, I'm working tonight, so I will find out. But yeah, this design's so cute. It did make me realize though that I do need to go get my um hand tattoos like refilled. The kind of little worn out <laughs> i'm like getting my period and like the hormones like in my fucking body and brain right now oh my god like last night i had like the worst sleep i kept having like fucking nightmares like i'd fall back asleep and like the nightmare would continue like it would just keep going and so i'd stay up for like 10 minutes or so and just like you know not go on the phone or anything just like clear my mind and you know, go back to sleep, and it would start again. It was just, it was just really shit. I don't fucking know why. It's like just period nonsense. Like it, it's not just that. It's just like so many other things as well. Like my body just feels like it's dying every time I get my period. Anyway, <sighs> womanhood. So yeah, I had to start work at six tonight, but one of the girls called in sick, so I'm going in at three, which is funsies. But yeah, anyways, we're just cruising. Didn't get all of the stuff that I wanted to get done yesterday done. I got most of it done. I got most of it organized. There's still a lot that needs to be done. But I did send off all my Depop parcels. Did do some laundry and wash my sheets and all that like fun shit. So I'll continue getting my shit together when I get home from work. I hope she plays hot to go. Check that, man. That's over on mate. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
I'm with Sally, we're making fucking TikToks with like a brat thing we made on the shed. the dog to like the pet shop to give him like a wash. Buddy, buddy. Now he's all wet because dad refused to blow dry him. So now he's fucking soaking wet. <laughs> anyway, this is clean now. So this video has been a bit all over the place as usual, but I'm like happy and excited to be back like vlogging, like doing this vlog vibe again, you know, getting back into that vibe because I like miss all of my vlogs that I used to do. It's just its just so much fun to just share my life with you, you know? It's fun. Anyway, I just went to Kmart and I just want to give you a haul of the shit that I got. So I got this Reed diffuser. I found the candle and the candle, yeah, it's lemongrass and ginger and it, was so, it smelled so good. And then I was like, oh, I'm already getting some other candles. Um, let's see if they have a reed diffuser because I've been really getting into these because I just feel like Obviously, I love candles, but they like don't last as long at least in my house They don't last as long as these because they just get used more And I found a fucking reed diffuser in the same scent and it smells so fucking good. So I'm going to open it up now and put it in my room. Yeah, anyway, it's Sunday now. I'm tidying up my room and getting ready for the next week this week's been good it's been chill it's been fun as you saw we went to iron maiden and that was super awesome iron maiden's my dad's favorite band and it was really cool to um like share that with him and be there and see them live i don't know i just love music and i love all music and i love just you know learning more about all different kinds of bands and like i always talk about i'm not very like you know genre based i'm like artist based like i'm very much like creativity like whatever is like a vibe you know and i made in such a fucking vibe they're so creative um not only their music but like their like their art stuff all of their videos and like just the concept of their band i think is really cool because a lot of it's obviously instrumental but it, the stories that they tell in their albums you know some of them are fictional some of them are not fictional they talk about shit that happens in the real world and they make it into songs and i think that's fucking sick i think it's sick I love it. It's not just like your usual like dad rock music, you know? It's like not just about like love and shit, it's about like, you know, real fucking shit that they put into music and we always love that. But yeah, apart from that, we've just been hanging out and cruising and living. Alright. Oh, uh, it doesn't have like the sticker. I thought it was going to say like uplift on it. Anyway, slay. I'm going to put that in here somewhere. I went into Kmart and they had so many things and I wanted to get everything and there's a few things that I will go back and get I just didn't want to get today because today I just needed to get like the shit that I run out of I needed to get like new makeup stuff, new beauty products and everything like that and then like next week when I get paid or something like that I'll go get the other shit they had like cute shoes that I wanted to get and they have new bathers in damn I'm going back for sure but they had this cute um like little like leotard bodysuit pajamas so fucking cute i'm wearing these tonight i really wanted to get like some new cute pajamas because i feel like I, i'm always wearing like a fucking old band shirt and some like old fucking pants that i think are like my mum's that are like way too big for me which is fine but i just want to like you know i want to feel cutesy i want to feel cute when i go to bed so it's like this is like actually so fucking cute so I, yes that was a necessity i promise then we got another candle, Tropical Spritz. I always got one of these, they're good. Then I found this, um, I found this body mist in Woolies and it's called 24 and it's, it's like shimmery. Can you see that? Shimmery. I've been needing to get more perfumes and stuff because 
a lot of mine have run out and been lost and stuff, which is fine. But I, I do need to get more, and I will obviously get more like better ones too. I need to go get like a new Katy Perry one and a Britney Spears one, and the new Sabrina Carpenter one that's coming out. I want to get those, and obviously like other ones that are more high end because I feel like they like last longer and they're like obviously better quality. But I like to have a wide range of like all different ones that I can like chuck in my bag. But this is a body mist, and it smells so fucking good. It's um, it's called Sweet Escape Berry and Vanilla. It's actually so fucking good. I've never smelled anything so fucking good in my life. And it's glittery. Look at that. It's fucking shimmery. The only thing I do get fucking worried about though is that like the chemicals and shit that's in all of this crap. Like you can't really get a fucking away from it though. The, the, I do worry about it though. I, I try to um my best to stay away from it. Um, I needed a new brow gel because mine ran away. Also body wash. I really like this. Yeah, so palm olive I think is better now. Like better eco-friendly than they used to be. It says they've got like zero parabens, zero alcohol, zero gluten, zero animal derivatives, which makes it vegan and cruelty-free. Zero silicon, zero sulfates, zero, zero mineral oil, zero soap. See, so yeah, I think that is better than like a lot of them, but still. I think I'm going to start making my own body wash and soap because I know it's so fucking easy to make. You can make it yourself without all of the fucking nasty shit in it. I just need to work out how to make it and like what's the best way to do it so that you can still have it like preserved, I guess. And like not in the fridge because you can make ones same with like face scrub and that you can make your own but you have to keep it in the fridge obviously because it's made of natural ingredients but i want to figure out a way that like i can put it in a bottle and store it as well so i need to figure out like a natural way to do that obviously preservatives are chemicals and you want good ones not nasty ones but anyway i do like this one because i like the exfoliating scrubs that's what i like just feel like it just does a good job and i love coconut like body wash i just feel like i love smell like a coconut i needed a new face wash as well and then i got a fucking another perfume from kmart this one's called grateful i think this one's supposed to be a dupe of um the ariana grande one or one of hers i'm not sure which one Oh yeah, that smells so fucking good. Okay, now I have fucking both of those on me. Yeah, no, that one slays. Alright, well the fucking perfume collection is growing again. Thank God. Yeah, anyway, that's all I got. Not an exciting haul, not a big haul, just a small one today. But yeah, I'm just going to end the vlog off here. I just wanted to say that if you watch my videos and you're still hanging out with me, thank you so much. I appreciate your energy and your love and support as always. And yeah, just thanks for fucking sticking around while I figure out what I am trying to create and what I'm trying to do along in my journey in this life and in this YouTube space. So yeah, as always, lots and lots of love. I'll see you next Sunday.